Ladies and gentlemen, it is your host here. Once again, it is Team Ryan Ray. Now, have you got the opportunity to watch the very first video of the day? If not, smash that bell. You will get a notification from YouTube. My social media accounts will be down below. The ones I have, I have TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and my own Facebook page. So check them out, follow me, like it, leave a comment, and all that. Hopefully, duply. Now it is time once again to discuss wrestling news, wrestling topics, and a lot of awesome information to discuss for you. Now, if you like, sit back, relax, put your feet up, grab something, grab some drink. Now, if you don't do like that, maybe you want to chill like a villain and hear my thoughts, my opinions on the subject. And of course, the article will be down below, or the link will be down below. Let's roll this. Shangeli Baisley. I know I totally screwed up her name. I'm sorry. Last time she was on WWE television, Russell was at WrestleMania when she faces Becky Lynch for Becky Lynch's title, and of course Becky Lynch retains it. And I guess Becky Lynch wants to drop the belt to Baisley, and of course McMahon don't want to hear that. It never happened. So I guess all the rumors are true that her push is over. And that is very, very sad, okay? I, I like her. She's a very good athlete, performer, however. And she's very good on the mic. I think she's 10... Actually, she is 10 times better on the mic than Asuka. Why did they give Asuka the opportunity? She came and speak English. She needs a translator. You guys agree? Disagree. Now, of course, McMahon is very, very picky on his superstars. Who's the main woman or the main man to hold on the belts? He's very, very picky. Shangela Baisley was absent. I'm sorry, was a Sue's monster in the NXT. She was a beast. I just say that. The queen... Of sparing Cavalry the NXT title and blah 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 blah. You guys can read it now. According to David Nuzer of the Wrestling Observer, this man failed to understand what basically brought to the table. Because of that, her push was has basically has tossed out of the window. Wow, McMahon, you're a freaking dumbass. Just because. He don't understand. I mean, it fails to understand about what brings her to the table. Really, McMahon? You're a freaking idiot. I wonder what Triple H thinks. So, once again, this, you know, like her or other people who, who work for NXT do, do great things. And then when they get to the main roster, they might have a a great push or a great debut, and then when it happens, they bury you. And look what happens. They bury you. And that is all McMahon's fault. Just because he don't understand what she brings to the table. And they, they mess up her, um, her character, her image, and all that stuff. So how does she feel about this? I know I'm not saying this correctly, but McMahon once again needs a step down or something like that. I guarantee you that true boy says, Vince, what are you doing? What are you doing? Do we really want some old farts on TV like Ric Flair, Taker, like myself, Triple H? We don't want no old fossils on TV. Of course, McMahon does not give a flying crap. You know, he wants his guys, and that's it. You know? It's okay once in a while have some legends to make an appearance, but not a full-time thing anymore. So I guaranteed that Triple H and Vince buttheads who, get a, who deserves a push, who does not deserve a push, I think whenever Vince steps down or passes away, Things will automatically change for the better, not for the worse. Okay? Just stay, just stay positive, okay? I know a lot of you jumped ship and went to AEW, AEW, however you say that, because they're the best 
wrestling company right now until things have changed. So, I'm not really surprised about this thing. So, I agree with Becky Lynch. She should drop the belt at WrestleMania to her opponent, Baisley. I know I'm not saying the name correctly, but of course, McMahon did not have any desire to drop that belt. The belt, so whatever. No, actually, the last time we saw her was at Money Bank. That's the last time we saw Baisley. I thought she was going there, but that's it. So, I don't know if she's backstage or she just stays at home until this whole virus goes away. It's so sad. They're, using, they're wasting great talent. That wraps it up. Everyone, enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Hopefully, your 4th of July went well. And I'll talk to you sometime tomorrow. Like, subscribe, if you comment, hit the notification. Hit the subscribe. All the social media accounts will be down below. Peace out and take care.